Welcome again to another video from the Red Python. If you are working in an Active Directory environment and you want to easily correlate who has access to what and you want to know some hidden correlations, you can use Bloodhound or Sharphound. Sharphound is the executable version of Bloodhound. It's more reliable and fast. It uses graph theory to reveal this hidden relationships so it can be used by red teams and blue teams as well just go to google and uh, search for sharpound.exe you'll go to this page download the exe file and run it it is here in my downloads i'll just remove that because i've run it previously and just double click on sharpound and it will do its magic so how does it work it works by running an ingester onto the victim's machine and then it queries active directory similar to many other uh, similar to what we've learned in the previous videos so once it's done it will create these files so just take these files and move them to your Kali machine now we go to the Kalia machine. I have moved the files to Sharpound folder here. You can see users, OUs, groups, GPOs, domain, and computer. So I open the terminal and run the command Neo4j console. Just wait for a while till the uh, Neo4j server is built. So as you can see, that Bolt is enabled on this port here, and the Neo4g server has started on the port 7474. So we'll open the browser and go to the local host port 7474. Here you go, the Neo4g server is loaded. Now I'll minimize that and open a new terminal. In that terminal, I will write Bloodhound and it will load the Bloodhound interface. When it loads for the first time, uh, it will ask you to create a password and the default username is Neo4j. So once you open it for the first time, the interface is blank. You can go here to upload data, select all your files, JSON files, and press on open. It will start processing all these files. And after the processing is over, you go to this here, menu and go to queries. Queries you will find, you will be able to use the predefined queries, for example, find all domain admins. Just click on that. It will do its processing and will find all the domain admins under the redpython.local domain. If you can see here, we have domain admin at red python, and here the other domain use, uh, domain admin is administrator. So this is one of the predefined queries. We have lots of predefined queries as well. For example, the, the shortest path to the domain admin. Keep in mind that I have a very basic demo domain, so you will not be able to see elaborated graphs here, but on a real environment or production environment, it will make more sense. Graphs that I found over the internet, as you can see here, it will clearly reflect the path to dominate a domain controller. So as you can see, these users are member of this groups, which is admin to this session here. And this is all the way up through the domain controller. Another example, is here these users are member of the domain admin groups directly and uh, this is another example this user yifan yifan has forced change password on the local admin so here you can as well not just pin out some hidden relationships but as well be able to view some misconfigurations which can help you directly compromise a domain controller 